Afrexum Bank, Sterling Bank Launch, Payables Finance, in Nigeria. The African Export Import Bank, Afrexum Bank, has collaborated with Sterling Bank to introduce a new supply chain finance product, Payables Finance, in Nigeria. Alternative Payments Launches DP Max US-based Alternative Payments has announced the launch of its open banking platform DP Max, aimed at simplifying the payment experience for customers. Blue Yonder acquires one network for US$839 MLN. Blue Yonder, a player in digital supply chain transformations, has announced its intention to acquire One Network Enterprises, One Network, for around US$839 million, United States dollars, subject to adjustments. RBC completes HSBC Bank Canada acquisition. Royal Bank of Canada, RBC, has completed the acquisition of HSBC Bank Canada in a bid to expand the country's international banking capabilities. Qatar Islamic Bank launches Himian National Debit Card. Qatar Islamic Bank, QIB, has rolled out the Himian Debit Card, a national initiative by the Qatar Central Bank, QCB to foster a cashless society and facilitate transactions. Worldline extends its partnership with ASDA. France-based digital payments firm Worldline has extended its 16-year partnership with UK-based supermarket group ASDA. Visa launches Visa on Venmo and PayPal. Visa has announced the launch of its Visa Plus solution on Venmo and PayPal in order to provide U.S.-based customers with optimized cross-border payments. LaRev partners with TallyPay to adopt a cashless payment method. Bangladesh-based fashion and lifestyle brand LaRev has partnered with TallyPay to introduce a cashless payment method across its stores. Rubric to file for U.S. IPO. Microsoft-backed data security software vendor, Rubrik, has announced its intention to list its shares in a U.S. initial public offering, IPO, riding on the wave of companies turning to capital markets after two years of slowing down. Citibank partners with Bcash. Citibank has announced its partnership with Bcash in order to launch PayLater a collateral-free digital nano-loan solution for customers and clients. Nuve to be taken private by Advent International Nuve Corporation has announced a definitive arrangement agreement to be taken private by Advent International via an all-cash transaction. RBI to set up Digita to combat illegal lending apps. The Reserve Bank of India RBI, has proposed to set up Digital India Trust Agency, Digita, to tackle illegal lending apps, verify approved ones, and promote transparency. at and suffers data breach impacting millions. at and has suffered a data breach. Personal information belonging to 73 million current or former at and customers has been exposed online. Hakoku Bank launches bank deposits backed stablecoin. Japan based Hakoku Bank has launched one of the first stablecoins in Japan backed by bank deposits. Blockchain Zian raises US$25 MLN in Series A. Zian, a blockchain designed for widespread acceptance has announced a successful fundraising round of US$25 million United States dollars from investors. IFC partners with DBS IFC has announced its partnership with DBS in order to launch a US$500 million United States dollars facility and promote trade flows in global emerging markets. Advent to acquire Nuve in $6.3 billion deal Canadian payments firm Nuve is set to go private after agreeing an acquisition deal with a private equity firm. Rakuten to merge fintech units. 
Japanese financial services conglomerate has announced plans to consolidate its various fintech divisions into a single unit. Embedded finance market to be worth $22 billion by 2028. The market for embedded finance is forecast to grow by 148% over the next five years, according to a recently published study. U.S. and U.K. sign agreement to regulate AI models. The governments of the U.K. and U.S. have signed what they claim is the first international bilateral agreement to regulate the risks of artificial intelligence AI, models. Santander hires former Marcus head Swati Bhatia to lead U.S. digital charge. Santander's U.S. arm has hired Swati Bhatia, the former head of Goldman Sachs Marcus Business, to lead its retail operations and lead a digital transformation program. Valid Mind raises $8.1 million for AI risk management platform. Valid Mind an AI and model risk management platform for financial services, has raised $8.1 million in seed funding. Lloyds Bank invests 3 meters in prop tech startup. Lloyds Banking Group has invested 3 million in Coagit, an innovative fintech designed to connect all parties involved in the homeownership journey. And Digita and Prometea launch ESG e-learning course. Swiss regtech company Indigita SA, in collaboration with the global advisory firm Prometea, announces the launch of a new e-learning course focusing on environmental, social, and governance (ESG) scoring. Nutmeg survey shows increase in personal saving. New research from Nutmeg, the UK's largest digital wealth manager, reveals a positive picture when it comes to the nation's personal finance habits. Informatica launches AI data management platform in KSA. Informatica, the enterprise cloud data management leader, today launched its AI-powered intelligent data management cloud, IDMC, in Saudi Arabia, a first for the kingdom. Encino launches new upgrades to its consumer banking solution. Encino has launched new upgrades to its consumer banking solution, aimed at providing bankers with the needed tools to interact with clients securely and efficiently. Patronics report. First-party ordering spurs revenue growth. U.S.-based digital customer engagement provider Patronix has published the 2024 Patronix online ordering report, showing that first-party shopping increases revenue. Connex Pay names Ben Peters CEO. Connex Pay, the world's first all-in-one payments platform, today announced the appointment of Ben Peters as chief executive officer. Peters brings more than two decades of experience leading and scaling global payments and vertical software companies. Bangladesh's Mutual Trust Bank introduces biometric cards. Mutual Trust Bank Limited, MTB, in Bangladesh is launching biometric payment cards based on IDEX Pay, the biometric solution from IDEX Biometrics. ASDA extends Worldline deal. Worldline, Euronext, WLN, a global leader in payment services, announces the extension of its 16-year partnership with ASDA, the UK's third largest supermarket group, to deliver a full omni-channel payment solution for an initial period of five years. Adyen partners Adobe Commerce. Adyen the global financial technology platform of choice for leading businesses, is partnering with Adobe Commerce to deliver flexible online and offline payments solutions to global enterprise merchants operating on Adobe Commerce. BLME appoints Paul Shemilevich Chief Revenue Officer for Digital Bank Nomo. BLME has appointed Paul Shemilevich as Chief Revenue Officer for its Digital Bank, Nomo. Paul is a highly respected figure in the industry, 
and comes with a particular focus on leading business growth in the digital platform space. This concludes our current edition of the Bay Pay Forum podcast. Remember that you can read the full text of each article in our news section on baypayforum.com. We hope to see you tomorrow.